Student sun safety. As we head into these hotter months, it's a good reminder to parents about the danger of overexposure. This one came to us from a viewer. It's a sunburn so bad it sent one boy to the doctor for second degree burns, something he suffered on a school field trip. KXN's Josh Hinkle has more all new at six. We'll let you swim for a little while and that'll cool you down. A hot day at the end of school. You get all the way on your shoulders? Yep. We don't want to get another sunburn like you got a couple weeks ago. One final field trip that left 11 year old Brandon Bryant with second degree burns. He put sunblock on in the morning and then he did not reapply. Uh, the rest of the day. Five hours in the sun at a nearby water park. Brandon's grandmother, Beverly Nolan, a nurse who once had skin cancer herself, says she had reason to worry after seeing this. He woke up in the middle of the night and he had very large blisters on his shoulders and his back. I just saw yellow lumps on my shoulders and I'm like, uh, what are those? His pain was pretty severe for about five days. Brandon's family contacted the Austin Independent School District about the burns. They replied with an email saying a sun and heat safety guide would be sent out to all AISD principals. So it's very unfortunate uh, the situation that happened and we're sorry that it happened to him specifically. Within the week, the district sent that memo telling teachers to protect themselves and their students, specifically to wear and reapply sunblock. Not a new policy, but a reminder. We're using this as an opportunity to remind everybody to educate, to increase that awareness. Jump in and show me your stuff. Brandon certainly learned his lesson. Wear sunblock. <laughs> Big time. While his grandmother doesn't blame the district, she says the staff should have a stronger approach to student safety in the sun. We have to be responsible. We can't just leave it up to our 11 year old children to, to do the things that they need to do to protect themselves. Now, the district recommends students wear a sunblock with an SPF of 15 or higher. It also has several other tips and guidelines for heat and sun safety. You can find a link to that, plus links to a few other very helpful sites to protect your kids this summer. It's all on this story on the main page at KXAN.com. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.